working in the area of uh, creating awareness, uh, supporting advocacy for skill development and entrepreneurship. And uh, our organization is eight years old now. And uh, I can vouch for it that, like Chairman Sir said, uh, internet is like water and air. If there was no internet, uh, we would not have existed as National Skills Network. We completely depend on the internet. And uh, my talk or my points are going to focus more on how with internet, with good band, uh, broadband connectivity, we can address some very crucial and critical issues when it comes to uh, developing the villages and uh, providing employment for youth particularly who need to migrate otherwise to cities. And uh, in most cases, this migration is very stressed and forced migration, which doesn't lead to sustainable jobs. So in this uh, kind of system, we need to look at two important areas. Uh, one is the need to skill youth with the right skills which can get them jobs, which are connected with telecom industry. And as we know today, telecom industry works in the intersection of electronics and IT. And there are many other industries as well. So how do we do this? So as per some of the studies uh, which we have done from our organization, uh, we see that uh, there is a huge scope for entrepreneurship in the villages. Currently, India has something like uh, 6.4 or 6.5 lakh villages. And most of them are already uh, leveraging the broadband uh, to you know, create and sustain livelihoods through uh, initiatives like being uh, village level entrepreneurs and setting up CSCs, for instance. And this is one good example, and I can vouch, I can vouch for our own state, Telangana, where uh, with me seva, uh, e-governance has taken roots in the depth of the district, along with Andhra Pradesh. So this is one model, and uh, people who want to set up franchises of similar government initiatives have a huge potential to earn a decent livelihood. So, for example, if you just browse YouTube, any videos, uh, today there's ample information, people talking about how to set up a center like a CSE or a MeSeva or anything, provide services and at the same time, uh, you know, charge people with very small amount. So just to give you briefly, these services are very crucial, right from Aadhaar card, which is our digital identity. And there is, this is the, uh, this is synonymous with digital public infrastructure in India, the DPI initiative, right? So, Right from there to enrollments to anything you name, most of the people in villages will depend on government services. And the importance of broadband is even more there because if we provide them good broadband at reasonable prices, they need not migrate, as I said, and pick up jobs which may not interest them and come to the cities. They can set up these centers, small centers, and earn at least, uh, as far as my knowledge goes, up to 25 to 35,000 uh, per month. And uh, government also you know, pays them commission for each enrollment. So this is one model which is working. And uh, there are initiatives like Adani's uh, you know, have tied up for this VLE scheme uh, to help many villages in India to be a part of Bharatnet and uh, you know, try their hands at uh, entrepreneurship. Another important initiative with broadband scope for entrepreneurship is the setting up of the infrastructure itself. We take the people from the villages and help them become entrepreneurs. Let's assume the broadband uh, cable has to be laid. Right from there, there is scope for entrepreneurship. It could be as simple as digging things or you know laying the cable and all. So this is the entrepreneurship side uh, which apparently has a huge scope, which is yet to be utilized. And as Sir so was saying, uh, awareness is the key word here. How do we prepare them? How do we make them aware? So now, besides this, if you look at the big picture, today we have platforms like ONDC, the Open uh, Digital Network for E-Commerce, right? 
Now, how do you provide access to the people in villages and rural areas? Let's say, for example, they are very good craftspeople. There are women, okay? There are women self-help groups. Like uh, it happened in China, most of them had amazing connectivity and that is how they could expand their uh, networks and uh, create an e-marketplace. And the last point which I would like to speak about is when we are talking about the scope here, the need for skilling becomes very important. And uh, when skilling in telecom sector is the focus area, there is this Telecom Sector Skill Council from the Skill India Initiative and there is Electronic Sector Skill Council. They have come up with job roles, they have come up with uh, descriptions for various job roles. So once you set up the infrastructure, you need people to take care of it, like maintain the towers or maintain whatever infrastructure is needed for uh, the telecom. So, uh, this is something which is as per the job roles and this is uh, available, information is available on the telecom sector skill website.